coming into a 30, so I'm going to calm down. I'm Johnny Smith. Welcome to the Late Break Show. This is a Lancia Stratos replica, aka the Lister Bell STR. on the road. The Stratos, be them original or not, you don't really see them about. They were only built to enable Lancia to go play at rallying again. They were discontinuing the Fulvia Coupe and uh, They wanted something mid-engined and they wanted something competitive. And of course, this predates the days of four-wheel drive. So rear-wheel drive, engine right behind my ears and my head here. But whereas the original had a Ferrari Dino V6, this has got a Alfa Busso, the three-liter 24-valve V6 producing a, a shade over 200 horses. And it's got a seriously short wheelbase. 2.2 meters, I think. An LB specialist cars, formerly known as Lister Bell, are pretty much the go-to people for a car that will look like, behave better than, go faster than an original Lancia Stratos. And I'm featuring this car owned by a chap called Kevin Johnson. And if you've watched the Late Break Show Car Cave, this is his favourite car from his car cave. And Kevin's got some very exotic, expensive cars. And yet this is probably the cheapest car he's got and the most enjoyable, he says. Kevin's actually in front of me in his RS4 daily driver because I don't know these roads so well. See, this, this is fascinating. Right. So here we are in a garage. We've got a Mura, we've got a, a Carrera GT, we've got an F50, we've got some other, we've got some other Porsches and things. And above and beyond all of it, yeah. you take the car. It's not even an original. No. Um, and certainly in monetary value, it's nowhere, no, near, nowhere near it. Well, it's it. about no. the price of two of these doors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably the Mura doors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Actually, the engine rebuild probably cost me more than this car. Wow. Yes. And yet, this does it for you. Yeah, I mean, because it's, cause it's actually, it's character and it's really good fun to drive. Yes. So, so it's got the two things that I, that I think make it, in this garage, very sticky. Yeah. Um, so, it's, it's, so actually, my, my nuclear garage would be this and my little flat nose Porsche Turbo. Yes. They, they, they are both the same, and it's both the same deal. You know, they're small, they're easy to navigate with, yeah. they're, they're just so much fun. Quite and they're simple. pugnacious, pugnacious little things. Yeah. So you've got the five-speed manual, from the Alfa Romeo donor car. I think it's a 166 that this comes out of. So a, an Alfa that's got a great drivetrain but was never particularly loved. And space frame chassis, box section with glass fiber body on. Now the original Stratos was glass fiber, so that's kind of authentic. We've got rose jointed suspension. We've got an integral roll cage on the Lister Bell, which is trimmed, it's quite subtle. And um, that gives it extra torsional rigidity and I would hasten to add a lot more safety. And talking of safety, I'm about to be rammed by a Volvo. But luckily, the gearbox in this is really easy to handle. And although it's got not a lot of rear visibility because of the slats, the louvers. The mirrors kind of work and it's got amazing front visibility because of this sort of fighter jet 
cockpit. This all came about as a concept in about 1972. McPherson strut suspension, coils, uh, front and rear anti-roll bars. This thing is rose jointed. It's, don't get me wrong, it's raw and it's loud. That's kind of why you buy it. And like the reason why you'd buy a car like this is because you want the race car for the road feeling. Really nice, thro really nice travel throttle actually. I like it a lot. In original form, these are likened to your sort of Widowmaker early 911. Short wheelbase. Don't do anything daft with the throttle mid corner. And go in slow, come out fast. So it's really just the um, just the, the the fact is I love the design. I absolutely love this design. I mean, I, it's, I like looking at it. It's almost too pretty to have been a rally car. Yeah, but that's actually you know, and, and my and my heritage. I saw more rally cars than I saw anything else because it was all rallying. And this was a, this was you know of its in its day. This was a this was a, a winning uh, a winning design. So do you remember seeing these being rallied then? Yes. In Wales. Yeah. Yeah. I bet they were absolutely storming to watch. Well, do you know they 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 they're just they're just they're just lovely. You yeah. know they're, they're just lovely. I'm trying to think of superlatives, yeah, but they're yeah, just yeah. they're just so much fun. And actually, driving it is more fun. But driving this one, um, which Craig has done a fantastic job on on re-engineering um, the, the the basic chassis. Did you buy this new? Did you order? No, this? I know. Well, well, actually, I bought this. This was an impulse buy. Okay. Um, so I'd always, my, my fantasy car was one of these in Alitalia livery, right. which is like having a red Ferrari. Yeah. You know, if you've got a Stratus, you have it in Alitalia livery. Yeah. It looks immense. Yeah. Um, and so basically I went up to Stonely so kit car show um, a few years ago to order a, um, a Lister Bell. I was going to ask Lister Bell to build me a, 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 a Lancia Stratos Alitalia livery yeah. car and Craig the guy who's the the, the key guy at uh, Lister Bell um, said okay well it's um, three years for me to do a build and two years if you just want to if you want to if you want a kit not happening right <laughs> not, not patient, happening not, not, patient. not patient and actually I knew this one this was um, uh, built by a chap called Nick uh, up in Leicestershire and he had this on the Lister Bell stand and he was selling his car. Oh my so, gosh. So basically, as soon as, as soon as I heard that, I just turned around and I did a deal with Nick to buy this car. Like that? The, yeah, I mean, it literally was. Uh, I mean, Nicola can, can, can affirm it because she was with me in the show and, and basically that's what I did. So I agreed a deal. I'd never driven one. Wow. I hadn't driven this one. Um, I know that, I, I, rem I, I know a couple of colleagues of mine in the industry who tested them when, they, when Listabel first built yeah. them. Just said the phenomenal. Uh, well, you can do, you, you decide you decide for yourself whether yeah. that's that's the case. I think it's just so much fun. Oh, and by the way, no power steering, so physical. And that's the thing. It's it's a third of the horsepower of the Audi RS in front of me. But it's okay, because it doesn't weigh very much. <laughs> it weighs like 900 kilos, so it's all relative. Pedal box is set up for a nice bit of healing and towing, even in inappropriately large trainers. The steering is exceptionally stiff, non-assisted, but I knew that, I was warned about it. What a sound! What a sound! Because it's only about two inches from my head. And you know, the joy of a car like this, of a credible replica, is that A, it's probably better put together 
than the homologated original. Two, it isn't worth a huge amount of money, so you can actually drive it a bit. You can hustle it. I mean, I've got absolutely no idea. I'm stuck behind a van and things. I've got no idea what this would feel like on a rally stage when you're on loose surface. But on the road, I mean, even on these incredibly wide wheels, I can, I can feel every lump, every bump on these B roads and it's making me smile and it's making me concentrate. And I suppose that's really why you'd want to buy a Stratos rep. This gets used. We go to the shops, go to the gym, yeah. go to, uh, I mean, it, uh, you, about an hour is as far as you want to drive in this. You'll understand Presumably why. Presumably no soundproofing. Oh shit, no, like. no. no. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a fairly aggressive environment to yeah. be in for yeah. a very long time, yeah. but intense. You've got the intent. This is this is a you know this is an espresso type of car. Yeah, you but don't that's want. That's how you want it to be. Yeah, it's the combination Sh of the, the yeah. deep dish coffin. Yeah, Campagnolo wheels, which are horrible to clean. Oh, I bet they're an absolute swine. Oh no no, the, you know the, 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 there are some some wheels that are easy to clean. They, these are, are they horrible. Dirt scoops. Oh yeah yeah, and it yeah. gets in these little 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 things. Yeah, you, you have to have little um, fine fingers to try and get it get it out. They look fantastic. Oh. And kids love things like this. Because this looks like a big Tonka toy. This looks like a Hot Wheels toy. Yeah, exactly. You know, a fictitious yeah, exactly. car. So, I mean, so everything, when, just the windows going down at a yeah. crooked angle. I mean, that's just like a totally Italian thing. And you've got the, the, the helmets, um, oh, yeah, the holders the helmet, in there. Door, door bins, yeah. yeah. And then the rest of it's just designed around a, 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 you know, a roll cage. So it's just a... Uh... Because this was another, I'm seeing a, again, I'm seeing a bit of a trend with these two. When these were new, people forget that they struggled to sell them. Oh, yeah. They needed to sell 500 to go rallying. Yep. And they actually, not many people wanted to buy them. No. This one's not in the, the popular Alitalia colours, although Kevin does say that he wouldn't say no to one of those. The windows look broken. Look at them. Because you twist a knob and then and then it just falls out. Super rudimentary. I have to say, it's interesting when you talk to someone that owns a car like this, who also owns cars worth several million pounds. And this is the one that they keep going, yeah. And if the engine goes pop, it's a pretty common, not very expensive engine. It was, it was designed to be, to be rallied. And the thing is that if you look at the originals, I mean, they're still, they're, this is built, this is fiberglass. Yeah. Right? They're built out of fiberglass as well. Yeah. Um, and you can, you can um, translate the, or replace the panels. Uh, but they're really poorly put together. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, no, no, geez. Homologation <laughs> car in badly put together <laughs> yeah, yeah, Exactly, shocker. exactly. Um, I like that engine anyway. Yeah. I think the way it looks is stunning. I mean, and it's just exciting. It, it, in this company, like you say, by far the sort of cheapest car, but yet doesn't feel inferior, doesn't look it's inferior. Not. No, it, it doesn't need to be at all apologetic. No, no apologies necessary with So if you have to this. sell all your cars, bar yeah. one, tomorrow... Yeah. You it think would, it, I would keep this one. This would be the keeper. Mm. Brilliant. It does everything I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and, and uh, you know, even looking at it gives me pleasure. <laughs> um, so I get the art thing. Yeah. You know, uh, but uh, uh, I know with this that it's, you know, it's predictable. I mean, it, uh, th I don't know if you can see the width of these of these rear rear they tires. They are nuts. They are massive. I'm quite They're happy massive. to li lift the uh, lift yeah? the flap. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> You're at lifting it. her flaps. Look at okay. this. And of course, a, a unapologetic, fully exposed exhaust. Yeah. There's no, there was no bother, bother, no shrouding. It was just... No. So, you know, you can feel, you'll feel it when you're, when you're going around corners, you can feel it loading up on, the, yeah. on, the, uh, on each of the corners. But it really, it's only um, when you've got loose surface. It's, we've had a couple of occasions where it's kicked out, 
but it's when there's a lot of gravel or something's been washed onto the road. Yeah. But actually, it's it's pretty benign. Apparently, the originals, uh, or maybe this one, is similar to drive like an old 911. Yes, it is. It's, it's very it's, much, you can feel the pendulum moving. Go, yeah. go into a corner slow, yeah. come out quick. Yeah. Don't do anything silly with the throttle mid-corner. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Don't piss around in the middle of the corner. No. Because it's only about two meter wheelbase or something daft. It's really yes, short. I know it's really it's... short. Yeah. Oh, exciting stuff. But it is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I, th I think that these are tremendous. Wow, this thing feels so raw, so enjoyable. The replica's got air conditioning here, look. But you kind of don't need it, like Kevin said, because you've got this, you've got the rally roof pod, the induction pod, and I've got these two vents. And they are kicking out some fresh air, a bit of ram air. I think it's safe to say yes, the suspension's squeaking and I'm partially deaf. Am I enjoying myself? Of course I am. I hope you've enjoyed this little episode of The Late Break Show. This car is one of several in the car cave that we've recently featured if you haven't seen that have a look at the link below or above or somewhere near my head big shout out to ebc brakes for sponsoring the playlist of the car caves there's a discount code in the description below